A protest in the Malaysian capital of Kuala Lumpur has ended with violent clashes between the police and demonstrators. Tear gas and water cannons were used against thousands of protesters who were demanding an overhaul to election policies. Our correspondent Emily Buchanan reports. The centre of Kuala Lumpur was at boiling point. The demonstration calling for more democracy and human rights had turned sour as this policeman ran the gauntlet of protesters. They fired a shot at us and then instead of saying sorry, we knew it was an accidental shot, they shot some more. Okay, we were about to talk and make peace, negotiate and they shot at us. It had all started amicably enough with tens of thousands packed into the city's main square. They even cheered the police as they arrived. Activists fear that imminent elections may be rigged in favor of the ruling coalition, which has held power for over 50 years. I'm here to see that we have free and fair elections. That's all. We want the election commission to be independent and clean. At the moment, it is not clean. Okay, so I have to stand here because this is a day of destiny for Malaysians. The government insists the concerns are exaggerated and that it's reforming the voting system. It's not entirely clear how the violence started, but after the protest was declared a success and people began to go home, the barriers were breached and the authorities fired tear gas at the crowds. This is one of the biggest rallies organized by the so-called clean movement. It's an independent group backed by the opposition. But it's very important that we have um, Malaysians from all communities, racial groups, converging together, demanding fair, free elections and stop the fraud. But despite the massive turnout, the government appears in no mood for change. And there could be an election in June, too soon for major reforms to take effect. That means many more political battles ahead. Emily Buchanan, BBC News.